So the app for the PowerTap P1S is actually pretty straightforward. We just go into our profile, we see the sensors here, it's connected, the battery is full. So we click on this one, we see the firmware version is up to date, it's the newest version. The crank length 175mm is properly set for my crank and everything seems to be connected properly. Then if we want to calibrate the power tap pedals, we should bring them in a neutral position. So this means just let them well, go in a normal position by themselves. And then we go to our head unit, go down to the power and then press calibrate. Calibration complete, torque offset 12. So we're good to go. This should be yeah, done maybe every ride before you start or if there are big temperature changes. It's recommended even though the pedals are temperature compensated. So you don't really need it in my opinion. But yeah, I do it every, every now and then before I ride and just to be safe. So now to um, get the pedals off. This is a straightforward process. So the pedal to the front, we get our size 8 Allen key in and then we always pull upwards to loosen. This is the same for both sides. So just get the pedal facing front and pull the Allen key up and it will loosen up. So very easy. Now that we have them off, let's take a little bit more detailed look on the pedals. So, now we have our pedals here. So this one is the right side, this one is the, the left side pedal. On the P1S only one side has the, the sensor and the electronics. And the other side is just yeah, empty. So no battery, no electronics inside, no deformation tube, nothing. But, uh, well, if you want to open it and service it, it will be the same as if you had the P1. So let's just start to open the things up. So here we have a Torx. So this is a Torx uh, 40. And on each pedal, the direction to open the, the cap is uh, different. So on this one, this one is opening clockwise. get some to clean out the, the old oil and the dirt just in case so this one opening clockwise and this one counterclockwise so the same will go for the axle screw so here is a screw that we will open with the size 3 allen key from this side and with the size 8 from the other side. Just let me get um, some tools. So, to open this on this side, turn clockwise on this pedal so this one is the, the right side pedal you have to turn clockwise so it's always the opposite direction of the cap so before we open the cap counterclockwise and this screw is opening clockwise so we see the axle is coming out slowly but steadily so first one done now we do the same for the left side. So the left side cap was opening uh, clockwise, so the axle screw will open counterclockwise. So let's see it, counterclockwise, click, open. Okay, done. So get everything up. So. a little bit okay 
But this one is already pretty clean because I, I serviced it a couple of times already. You will see slight differences uh, on the side with the deformation tube and with the electronics you will have this ring. So this ring is maybe for the uh, orientation and maybe also for the cadence. And when we clean this we can really see the wear on the axle from the needle bearings. I'm not a real fan of the needle bearings to be honest. Uh, I don't really like the design, how they made it. So I'm not sure if you can see it. There's a lot of wear here, I can feel it with my fingernail and as well here, but more so here. So if we look at this axle, it's easy to imagine what's going on. So inside here there's a needle bearing, there's another one here and there's a ball bearing going on top and the screw holding it in place. So uh, most of these pedals have the problem that they have a lot of play. Uh, in this direction, so the needle bearing most of the time is broken. Uh, I will try to replace it in another video when I get the, the spare, but uh, I will pull it up on the screen. It's pretty hard to find that these, especially the same ones that they used with the cage, it's almost impossible because this axle is 13 millimeters, this is 9 millimeters, and the outside of the tube is 17 and the inner tube is again 13 so that this one can fit in uh, yeah so i think the main problem might be uh, the needle bearing on the outside i think the ball bearing is fine and the needle bearing here might also be fine even though there's a lot of wear but if you replace these then i think you have to recalibrate the pedals so i would not risk it for the most part, I think if we clean the bearings and uh, loop them and put some oil in them, then we will be fine for the most part. So I'm not sure if you can see it. I will try to get a little bit of light in there. But there's also um, another bearing screw that holds the, the inside bearings in place and you need an Allen key to open it up. If you want to press them out from this side, so I'm not sure if, if you can see it. We will not be doing this today. What we will do is uh, try to clean out our bearings a little bit. Just get the old gunk out. As I said, I recently already cleaned them, but there's still a lot of old dirt inside, so you might want to do this every now and then to have it perfectly clean. So, as you can see, here is another ring. So this ring is a little bit oily. A little bit hard to get off. I had it off already on this one. Yeah. So if you screw this one off, then you have the, the bearing seal here. This is the bearing seal. And if you uh, pull the bearing out, you have to remove the seal and then you can put another bearing in. But like I mentioned before, quite hard to find these because they use the special diameter which you can't find anywhere on the internet so I'm not sure if it was on purpose I think so it's similar to the uh, Apple Apple tactics so you try to make these so you can't repair them by yourself and it's also impossible to request the bearings from PowerTap service center they will not share any information and they will say you have to recalibrate it, then you open it up and uh, I think if you replace this one it's it's a myth, I think it will stay the same. Because if you look at the wear that we have here, I think the wear um, influences the power more than replacing this bearing does. But in, in, in any case, so let's continue. So also clean this axle here. This is from the right side, 
we can see a similar wear but funnily uh, less than on the left side it's really hard to imagine why but maybe the rider that had these pedals before has a lot of more a lot more power on the left side I don't know so yeah so these rings you have to put on before you reassemble this will help um, helps the axle stay in place and not unlock by itself so what I usually do after I cleaned it let's just give it another wipe here get the old things out okay looks good I will usually use some white lithium grease okay looking good couple of drops of oil of bearing oil one two six okay this is looking good let's put this in here and slowly turn so you won't be able to get it in completely unless you turn the screw on the back side Here to tighten it, it will be clockwise. As we have a good grip now, we get this one in place and tighten it. But we won't use a lot of force. It only has to be tight, not broken. So like this here is enough, I think. This side I also like to get some lubrication going. So also a couple of drops here. This will help us out if in the future on the ball bearing side um, through using the pedal the ball bearing will always get a little bit of oil through the seal and I think this is this won't hurt. And in the long run I think it will be beneficial for our, our bearings. So again here to screw it in you have to go counterclockwise on this one. Make sure the seal is sealing properly. And done. So there's a little comment on uh, using these pedals and what I like and what I don't like. So what I don't like is the battery design. They use a AAA battery. It's quite chunky and also you have to use a lithium battery because the design is as follows that if you have a battery with less than 1.5 volts the electronics will not work properly and nowadays I think it's so easy to get a lithium ion or lithium polymer or something and I don't really understand why they choose to go with this battery and make it non-rechargeable I don't really know also you can see that all the weight is on one side so from a design point of view I would have moved to the battery to this side and then it would be more balanced so now if you want to clamp in the pedal will always go like this and it will be quite hard for you to clamp in so if you're coming from a Shimano SPD pedal, um, yeah, it will take a little bit of training to get clamped in, so it will be one of your skills in the future that you can acquire after some training to be able to clamp into these pedals. Another thing that I do like actually, so they're adjustable, the clamps here. Uh, I do like the stiffness and everything and the adjustability. The range is quite good. I don't, I'm not really a fan of the Luke Kio um, cleats because uh, coming from Shimano I had to buy the zero degree float otherwise it was just way too much for my, uh, for my taste. But so if you're coming from a Shimano maybe you should order the black or the grey ones with zero percent float and then I think they are quite usable. So let's um, finish assembling. The other one, so this one, I will also give a short clean. And yeah, maybe keep 
keep your eyes open for a follow-up video if I replace this bearing and I, I might I might do this in a couple of weeks when I get the spare part even though it's it's not completely the same but I think it might be suitable for for at least for the out or for the for the outside of the bearing here that is closest to the crank I think it's it's okay so again white lithium grease a couple of grubs ring it's okay get this one in and here we have to tighten it counterclockwise so don't get confused by this again we give it a little bit of torque to tighten it up but not too much, just like this, okay. And to finish the job, a couple of crops here as well. Get the cap back on. Try to place the seal as good as possible. And on this one, as we remember, we have to tighten it clockwise, I think, yeah. It's correct. direction or zero play because the ball bearing is securing everything but there is a slight play in this direction because of the needle bearing and a little bit more on the left side so yeah as I said I don't really like the design of the the bearings and the choice but what can you do other than that I've been quite happy with these pedals they've been very reliable uh, I use them with the N plus protocol never had any issues so far the accuracy is very good the cadence is working all the time and yet the clipping in needs some getting used to but other than that I really enjoy them and I watched a lot of review videos and comparing them to the Garmin Vector and to the Favera Yoma and the other brands and yeah I think they are all in the same ballpark if it's um, accuracy wise and yeah these are a little bit heavy but uh, I do like them so I will use them as long as they they are usable or maybe with replacing the bearing I will get some more years out of them and if you do this service by yourself, I hope my video helps you a little bit. And if you have any questions or uh, requests for maybe bike repair stuff or electronics repairs, troubleshooting, I do a lot of things uh, in my free time, so I'm not sure if I should invest some time in making tutorial videos on, on my projects or not. So please let me know, comment, like, and let me know if this helped you out and if you need something else and for the batteries i can uh, recommend you lithium batteries uh, i found on, on amazon they come around with 1.9 volt charge and you can get easily 60 hours out of them i think it's it's not worth it to try normal batteries it will just not work because the voltage drop on a normal battery is uh, linear so it means they start full at 1.5 and then as they get lower uh, weaker and weaker they will go 1.4 1.3 1.2 and etc and as, as soon as you hit 1.3 uh, this device cannot really get the correct voltage to run all of the electronics and if you have a, a lithium battery with 1.8 1.9 they will stay quite stable at the 1.8 volt range and then if they are empty they will drop instantly so you get a lot of, yeah, a lot more hours out of them compared to the other choices like the 
and I am H and uh, Akali Batteries.